Effectively balancing performance with comfort and even coming in at a relatively low weight, the Marmot Limelight three-person tent has a ton of features that keep you really comfortable in the backcountry and it's perfect for three campers or backpackers who are looking for all kinds of livability on the inside of their tent. The first thing that struck me about this tent was just the shape of it. So what Marmot has done with the pole structure here is they have pre-bends in the corners of the poles and they have strategic clip placement here that brings the tent body and the tent walls out to be very vertical. So as you can see, there's a very boxy shape, especially towards the bottom of the tent. This gives you lots of livability and a really big sleeping zone in the tent. So while some tents will taper down really sharply on the corners, kind of rendering the corners of the tent unusable, this tent brings those corners out so you can use all of those corners. There can be somebody sleeping on the very edge of this tent and the tent wall isn't brushing up against them. So that gives you lots and lots of room. So in the sleeping zone, plenty of room, but you also have clips up here that give you plenty of elbow room and head room. So three people can be sitting up in this tent and you've got all of that space above you. The other thing that struck me about this tent was how easy it is to set up. So it's all clips. You get an included footprint, which adds a lot of value to it. And because the footprint has clips on it that clip to the rain fly, you can do a fast pitch or a dry pitch design. Basically taking the footprint, setting up the poles with it, and putting the rain fly over top. So we don't have the rain fly on quite yet, uh, but the tent body has lots and lots of features. On the front two corners, you have two red tabs that indicate this is the front of the tent. You don't have those red tabs on the back. You also have a really, really big open door on the front. You have a pretty big door on the back too, but it doesn't open all the way. Uh, it's more of a D-shaped door. Now the fabrics here are a really good mixture. You have all the mesh you need in the canopy to have lots of breathability. So all mesh from here up and then below that you have this taffeta material that gives you a lot of privacy. So even if you roll back both sides of the vestibule, uh, you're still uh, kind of protected there. Um, that also gives some protection from splashing if water splashes under the rain fly. And then below that you have a big bathtub style floor. So that waterproof material comes up a few inches into the tent body and the floor is completely seam taped, completely waterproof so you're protected there. And because you get an additional footprint, uh, you're protected even more from groundwater. I'm gonna open up both of those doors and take a look at the inside of the tent. I don't know of many other tents that have such a wide open front door. It's really easy to get in and out of the tent. And something I really appreciate is because they have such a wide opening here, the door actually falls down to the floor and there's a pocket right there that you can tuck the whole door into that pocket so it's not in the way. The other thing you can do is just open the door halfway. So there is a toggle point here in the middle. So all you have to do is unzip one half and roll it back and then get in and out of the tent quick if you need to just zip it back up. But all you have to do is tuck that down into the pocket. So there's small attentions to detail that really make a big difference for comfort. You've got plenty of pockets on the inside of the tent to get your gear up off the ground. There's a hook hanging here and you can hang gear from that. There's a couple gear loft loops. If you buy a gear loft separately, you can hang that in there. And there's a lampshade pocket as well. So that lampshade pocket will diffuse the light from your headlamp and create a really even and ambient light on the inside of the tent. So again, another little feature that goes a long way for comfort. Now there's plenty of room on the inside for three campers or two people who just want a little bit more space. And now that I'm inside the tent, you can really tell that the sidewalls are steep and that you've got all kinds of room in here. With a peak height of 48 inches, you have plenty of elbow room and plenty of room to move around. And although you can't actually stand up in this tent, the inside of this feels so roomy. So it's a really great balance for having a tent that you can take car camping, 
family camping. And if you do some backpacking, it's still a backpacking option, weighing in under seven pounds. We've got the rainfly on the tent, and Marmot makes it really easy to orient the rainfly the correct way the first time every time because they have those two red tabs on the front of the rain fly as well. So you just find those red tabs, line it up with the front of the tent, and clip everything down. Now, really all you need to do is stake out the two vestibules. So you've got plenty of space in the front and the back vestibule to store your pack or your boots or whatever you need to there. And then you can use the guy out points to make a more secure structure. So you've got all kinds of guy out points, one on every corner here. They're reflective, so you can find them at night. We don't have the guy out points staked out today because we don't have any wind or rain, um, but there's also guy out points on the sides of the tents so that you can really stake those out just to get more of a cross ventilation underneath of the rain fly. Something I really like about the doors here, we've got one door rolled back for easy in and out, but if you want a lot of ventilation, if it's uh, muggy day, you can roll back this side too because there's a toggle point there and you can do the same on the back. So all kinds of ventilation. You also have a vent here and you can actually close the vent from the inside of the tent. So if you've got a storm rolling in and you need to batten everything down, you can do that. But that gives you uh, just enough ventilation to prevent on a condensation on the inside. There's also a nice storm flap in front of this zipper and it's a two-way zipper. So you can actually have this all the way zipped down and then unzip it a little bit from the top to have some more ventilation. You don't see that on every tent. And again, it's a small detail, but it does make a big difference. As far as the materials in the Rainfly, you have really durable material. This isn't an ultra lightweight tent. It, it's meant to be durable and it's meant to, to really shed rain. So all of the seams you see here on the Rainfly are taped. You're completely protected. And the Rainfly, full coverage on all four corners. So you're protected in a heavy rain, in, a heavy rain, in storms. This is definitely a pretty bomb-proof tent. Now, if it's windy, if it's rainy, you definitely want to try and stake out as many of those guy out points as you can, just so you have the best uh, security. There's also uh, some little Velcro tabs on the inside of the rain fly. I would uh, attach those to all the poles to just keep everything together. With the limelight tent here, you're getting an included footprint you're getting a tent that's relatively lightweight and packable, but you have all of the livability inside there, and it's gonna keep you really comfortable for camping and backpacking. It's the Marmot Limelight three-person tent.